what is the wave going to do? What are the moves that you're going to want to be doing? Like I was more sort of a down the line surfer. Now I'm thinking my, my thought process has changed. You're taking off and like, what is the first maneuver? What might be the second maneuver based on sort of the structure of the wave, the size of the wave, the steepness of the wave? My shoulders were barking, my back was barking, and everything's sort of talking to me. But, you know, you, you just get through it because, I mean, the setup and the system and the intention of everything that's here is really fantastic. The nutrition, the, just the general attitude of everyone. I mean, it's just a, it's just a pleasure to be here. Everything here is very intentional, right? I mean, everything put together as a program to get through a week of very rigorous activity. What was your motivation to start surfing? Initially, my motivation? Um, honestly, I, I'd had some friends and some family who liked to surf and I, just seemed fun to me, seemed like a good thing to do in, in the nice tropical places, so I used to start to get into it. And how did you find out about surf safety? My Uncle Bear, he, he had done it before and just told me about it and we came together. As we were getting ready to leave, I thought about how different it would be, because I came with two of my uncles and I thought about how different it would be if I was here alone. And so I think just in life, it's so important to find thing, things that you love to do, but then do them with people that you love. Um, just makes the whole experience much more meaningful and much more enjoyable and making memorable experiences with, with people you love makes all the difference. You know, I think I was just at a place in my life where I wanted to try something different and I knew it was something that I could uh, stay in shape doing and it would challenge me and, uh, and yeah, it's been a great thing to add to my life. I think just obsession when I was a kid. I mean, it didn't need any motivation. I was just obsessed with it. I was subscribed to both surfer and surfing magazines. I was in the, the 80s. I mean, it's the early days of the, the world tour. I mean, it was, I, I was obsessed. I took a surf lesson about nine years ago before my children were born and I loved it. I loved the feeling, I loved the excitement. Wanted to go back to it and go back to that feeling and the excitement and the um, challenge. Um, and now is the perfect time. My children are getting older and my husband loves to surf and it was something we could enjoy as a family together at different levels. So, and uh, we wanted uh, some place that was going to be all inclusive, uh, video footage, good food. I wanted to be completely immersed in sort of the surfing experience so that I could progress to the next level. I found out about Surf Simply from these guys at the Four Seasons Papagayo um, Tropic Surf. And I asked him about surf camps in Central America, and this was at the top of the list. And he said the only caveat about Surf Simply is it's really hard to get into. <laughs> He's like, there's like a two year wait list. And so I came last year, and then this year I didn't think I was gonna make it because uh, you guys were all booked up. I was on off the wait list. So I got, I won the lottery. So I was able to come back second year. This year it was more about risk it all. And I think that's, you know, for, for me, I'm at the stage where I'm trying to put together multiple new maneuvers, but especially to do a cutback where you really fully commit. And I think that's the biggest sort of takeaway from this week was, you know, even if you get one maneuver, risk it all. Every moment in the water, you know, it's just a blast. My coach was Amaya, and she was amazing. We we were really working on kind of going over the fundamentals at the beginning, which was super helpful because I have searched before, but just getting those fundamentals down, 
and then we really started going over angled takeoffs and then towards the end some carving. Who was your coach this week? My coach was Derek. Tell me about it. Oh, he was wonderful. Um, very positive, great energy, um, very knowledgeable, made me feel very safe. Uh, we were working on the turns and um, my stance, and then even we went out and tried to catch some real waves. Um, and uh, again, pushed me to the edge and taught me some even tips on how to maneuver when the waves became too large for me, um, to do some turtle rolls, and um, but to keep my composure and stay cool and kind of push me to the edge of my comfort level, which was perfect. When I'm trying to set you guys up with these unbroken waves where we're starting to angle our takeoff a little bit, what I'm really trying to go for is a B turning into a C. Okay, steep enough to catch, but still plenty of time for you to get to your feet, make your adjustments. Knees in the middle, good. Eyes down the line, and hopefully we can get some of that, you know, that down the line time where we're kind of cutting across the unbroken wave. I have to say, I loved all of it. I, I think it all complemented, every piece complemented the entire experience. The food was amazing, amazing, amazing. Be beyond my expectations. Definitely the food, it was delicious. It, oh yeah, definitely the food. What did you like about it? Um, very unique meals, very unique, very healthy, very flavorful and just hit the spot every every single meal, every day. It was delicious. I love the food here, just eating at the round table with everybody and just socializing and having a great time with the group. That's one of the highlights for me of being here. They have a lot of enthusiasm, uh, I will say that. Um, you know, the, 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 the coaches and everybody, everybody sort of has this common goal and it doesn't matter whether they're, they are their, their coach or somebody else's coach or your coach, you're gonna get you're going to get that enthusiasm uh, throughout, uh, and that's that's helpful. And the other guests, they, they ended up being it ended up being a very positive group, a really good group, and uh, I think we had more in common than we didn't have in common. Everyone seemed to have great relationships, and they get along well together. And everyone kind of knows who's doing what. This real uh, camaraderie, and I think that that sort of. Uh, rubs off on the guests and we, we find you know ourselves making friends with the team but then also getting to know each other real well and just everyone feels very comfortable here ah oh, man perfect mix of relaxation but also pushing your body pushing yourself and just an amazing experience full of good food good people good memories and very good times